Holy hell, Chris Danger's new documentary about becoming a professional wrestler might be, might be the most relatable thing I've ever watched in my life. I mean, you know, Chris Danker is a wrestling YouTuber. He's been there for ever since like 2014 or something like that. And not to compare myself to him at all in terms of size, because as you can see, this channel is way smaller. But I've been doing wrestling videos on YouTube ever since 2014 as well. Not on this channel, but on my Turkish channel. So whenever he talked about his troubles with his channel, maybe taking things into a new direction, feeling burned out, whenever Kajink Danker talked about all of these, I could relate so much. Because there isn't another wrestling YouTuber out there touching on these uh, topics. And again, let me re-emphasize this. There isn't another wrestling YouTuber. Yeah, sure, we see a lot of other YouTubers talking about burning out and all that, but I feel like that's not as common in the wrestling space. But I really like what Chris has been doing ever since I, I found him. I think it was his first ever WWE 2K15 video, My Career. I was searching for, you know, newest gameplay, show me. And that's how I found Chris Danker. And I feel like that's, a, that's how a lot of people found Chris Danker. And yeah, I really enjoyed everything. He did throughout the years. Not only was it enjoyable, but it was also inspirational. And for me specifically, because I did a similar thing, although not as successful as him, very relatable too. And then he took shit to another level. He decided to become a professional wrestler. And it is insane how much I relate to everything he says in, in his documentary. Like he talks about the fact that he wanted to become a professional wrestler. At least he dreamed about it. He thought about it, but he said, there's no way I can do that. He just brushed it off completely without even giving a second thought. You know who else did that? This guy right here. I said to myself, I'm too small. I'm too skinny. I'm not even athletic. I'm too anxious. I, there's no way I can do it. Then you know what else Chris Anker said? He said with DPW, being a manager there, he thought that would be it. And he just started getting way more involved than he ever thought he would. You know what happened to me? I come from Turkey and in Turkey we had a indie promotion called Ang Pro Wrestling. I went in there to do a couple of segments, you know, just one storyline or whatever. I wasn't even supposed to wrestle, I was just going to be a commentator. And then I got involved in literally everything. Then I made a lot of friends. And just like Chris Anker said, seeing all these people who are super, you know, psyched about this, people who are ready to show themselves to the world, just kind of gets you hyped up. Then I got closer to some of the guys there and formed a brotherhood, just like he did. And all that ended up with me thinking about wanting to become a professional wrestler. So literally what happened to him, exact same freaking thing in a different setting happened to me. Now the problem is, Chris Anker has a lot more money. And he's in the United States of freaking America while well, I'm in Turkey where professional wrestling is <laughs> barely, barely existent. People don't even know what it is. And the ones that do know, they just laugh at it and make fun of it because they don't understand, they don't understand it at all. So while Chris Tanker was uh, able to start training with a prestigious uh, wrestling school with some great coaches, Tyler Breeze being one of them, in a wrestling ring, in a legit program, I saved up all that I could so I could go from uh, Turkey to Germany for a month and train at WXW all the way back in 2019. I trained for one month and then again, I just felt the exact same things that Chris Anker talked about, hitting my limit. Like my first week of training was brutal. I didn't even know I could have, I could move, you know, like, I thought it was impossible. Like, there's no way I can do this. I doubted myself a lot. But then I fucking remembered that, you know, I, uh, well, I was like 55 kilograms, which is extremely skinny, by the way. I ate up. I dieted like a motherfucker. I worked out in the gym, prepared the best that I can. I talked with my friends and they put their hopes in me. I prepared for this. I saved money for this. I've gone to Germany. And before even going to Germany, I said to myself, I'm going to regret this. I know for a fact that I'm going to regret this if I don't try, even if I fail. I'm going to give it my all and we'll see what happens. And another thing that I can relate to so damn well, it's just like almost feels like Chris Tanker is like peering into my brain and saying the things word by word, like exactly how, how I would have said them. And what I'm talking about here is the fact that during training, you know, when I'm getting freaking slammed, bumping all over the place, you know, I found myself just stopping and just taking it all in with a huge freaking cheesy smile on my face, thinking how the hell did I get here? Like that is exactly like 100% word by word or whatever. That's how I felt. I really don't understand why that's the case. Why that happens to some of us, you know? But 
it's just insane. Everything I heard from Chris Danker in this uh, documentary was awesome. He was honest about it too. I know he's honest, like I said, because I've lived many of the things uh, that he lived through. But I gotta say, not only was this uh, relatable, but because it was so freaking relatable, it's also very inspirational for me. There's literally no one else on earth like Chris Danker right now, a YouTuber going to rest and training. Well, we do have CM Pulse or Pulse now, but he hasn't made a video about this, you know? I'm pretty sure now that I think about it, he probably went through the same things as well, or very similar feelings as well. Again, the scale of what happened to me is much smaller. And after a month, I went back to Turkey from WXW and I was going to go for two months next summer, you know, like, so I'm just going to do like two months, one month training every single year, hoping to break into the wrestling business. Obviously, that was not going to happen. I learned that pretty quick uh, in my first month with WXW. And then anyways, like whatever I wanted to do, COVID happened. So I wasn't going anywhere anyways. That's when I decided that, yeah, if I really want to do this thing, it's never, ever going to happen in Turkey. Not even after a miracle. We would need like 10,000 miracles for me to be able to have anything to do with wrestling in Turkey. So one thing led to another and I kind of tuned out from professional wrestling. I really did. Because like even if I wanted to, plus even if I gave it my all, because I'm in Turkey, it's just not, it's just empty effort. It's never going to work. But I found myself in Canada <laughs> four months ago. And my friends from wrestling, from our uh, small, very small promotion, were always telling me, you know, you should go to the wrestling school, man. And I was like, I know, but I can't. Like, I'm here to live comfortably, get a job, you know, don't worry about things, just chill out, have a comfortable life. Like, if I put wrestling in the middle of that, everything is going to be way tougher. And I said that the first month, and I said that the second month, and I said that the third month, and by the fourth month, the wrestling venom, the bug or whatever, it just comes back. Like, for some freaking reason, I enjoy this more than I do almost anything else. And I can genuinely say that actually getting in the ring and pushing myself and the idea of becoming a professional wrestler is the one thing that I can say I like without feeling any remorse, without feeling weird about it, without having any doubts about it. I always say to myself, it is extremely stupid that I feel this way. Like, why couldn't I love math the way I love professional wrestling? Why not science? Why not bodybuilding? Why not engineering? Why not anything else? But professional, like any other sport too, maybe. Why not basketball? At least that's not as rough as professional wrestling is to your body. I don't know. I will never know. What I do know is that if you still haven't watched Chris Danker's documentary on professional wrestling, you should. It's great. Danker's always been great and he's been an inspiration. I think I forgot to say also that now that I'm here in Canada, I'll actually be starting uh, pro wrestling training as well. Like a couple of days later, I signed up for it and everything. And so I'm pretty much ready to go. It's going to be super kicked wrestling in Toronto. Maybe some of you know uh, where it is, what it is. And this time I'm actually going to give it a legit try. I'm not going to be here for a month and uh, I won't have to go back to my country. I know it's going to be extremely tough, but as long as it's fun for me, as long as it's fulfilling, I'm going to do my all, give it my all to become one of the best professional wrestlers out there. And that might sound arrogant, but if I'm not going into the wrestling business to be the greatest wrestler that I can, then, you know, what am I doing? But anyways, that was my story. If any of you guys want to talk about your own story, please do let me know down in the comment section below. That being said, I'll see you on the next one.